Come here. Brooke, wanna open up? Good job. Hi, my name is Lauren. I'm a reptile keeper at the St. Augustine Alligator Farm Zoological Park. Basically, we're here to make sure that the collection does well, they thrive. Um, also, to be able to watch them, monitor any behavioral issues. We watch them during breeding season. So it's a, a lot throughout the day. And the alligator farm, I mean, it's what we're known for. We have every living species. So you want to work with them and learn about them, you come here. So this is where we have a lot of our, our holding animal stuff that's not on display for various reasons, either you know they're babies or there's kind of backups or for breeding purposes. In zoos now, especially here, we're trying to get away from a lot of vegetables and fruits because it's actually kind of like candy for them, but to still kind of help them grow once a week, they get a, a nice little salad to munch on, but throughout the week, they get a lot of leaves and hay. So this is their, their treat day. It doesn't take much to stop a tortoise. Just give them a little scratch. Right, Dirk? So the galops are kind of, they're kind of like gentle giants, but they think a lot of things are food. So you just have to make sure that they're not coming after you for food. Um, so we, we work closely with the company, Missouri, that created the, the crock pellet. And they've done really well creating food for, for a lot of different species. A lot of people, you know, come in here and alligators are an absolutely frightening animal. We hear stories all the time that, oh, there's an alligator in my yard, so I, I called and had it taken care of and removed. And a lot of people just don't realize what goes into that and how many alligators are destroyed yearly uh, just because we don't know how to interact with them in the wild. So I love to be able to educate people and kind of show them how amazing they are and share my love with them and, and really see some people learn and realize that just how amazing they are. I mean, I, I love everything about this place. This literally, when I got the job here, I, I told my bosses, I was like, I feel like I've died and gone to heaven. 